Okay guys, my strawberry patch is rough. It's springtime and it needs some love. So we're going to be cleaning it out and I'm gonna be putting bark in there and I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit about this. So if you're putting in a strawberry patch or redoing a strawberry patch, let me tell you one of my very favorite things I discovered a couple years ago. Pink strawberry blossoms. Okay, I did not know that existed until a couple years ago. Normally they're white but I bought some pink ones to mix in here with my white ones and these are ever bearing strawberries. So I will have berries all summer long. My kids love them and so do the birds, but I'm a little bit late getting started on this this year. Normally I rake this out before the blossoms pop out because if I rake out the blossoms, I'm not gonna have any berries. So I am going to carefully break this out and a lot of my flower beds I have decorative rock in them and I can't put that in a strawberry patch because the strawberries can't grow in rock. So we're going to be putting down some bark because that's it helps keep it cool also turns to mulch and then for those that don't know the way strawberries grow is they put off these shoots. This is from last year so it's froze but they put these shoots off and then at the end of the fruit or sorry the shoot you'll see it'll start to root down. But where my weed block is showing, it's not gonna root down to that. It wants to root down to dirt or bark or something else. So I've gotta get all this ground cover covered with bark and get all of my dead leaves and my dandelions cleaned out. So I'm gonna work on that and then I'll show you how this turns out. The other thing I like to use is a plastic rake. Um, the metal rakes are a little harsher and it tears your plant out. So if you don't have a plastic rake, get a plastic rake because it will save your plants. Okay, so we've raked out all of our dead leaves, sticks, garbage, and we're going to put down our bark. We're gonna mainly put it in all of our bare spots and then as, this, as the summer goes on and the strawberries put out shoots, I kind of go through and direct the strawberries. So if I have a big bare spot, I'll run the shoots that direction. And they're really good to do exactly what I say. So you just tell them where to go and they do it. And then they just latch down to the bark and they grow a new plant. It's great. So we're gonna put down bark. Okay, it took us about 15, 20 minutes, but we cleaned out everything that was dead. We put down new bark and we had a little dog wrestling match going on that hopefully you got to enjoy while we were in the process of restoring our strawberry patch. Um, I'm gonna tell you a couple of things that help your strawberries look like a million bucks. So the strawberries that I have are Everberry. They produce fruit all summer long. You can get some that are early that just do June. So check with your nursery. The pink blossoms are an, uh, a hybrid, so you're gonna have to ask your nursery if they have those or not. I think they're rare, but I think if you ask, you can find them if you want pink blossoms. Okay, this is fulvic acid. Um, I fertilize with miracle Grow, which most people do. This is fulvic acid, so you can just mix like a fourth of a teaspoon into a gallon of water, and then I'll actually just put it on my strawberry patch. It's amazing with tomato plants and everything else. So when your ground's depleted, this is what it's lacking. Um, I get it from, I'll zoom in on this so you can actually see. 
So it's, I get it from kelp for less, fulvic acid, and I think it actually has, yep, it has directions on there for you. A fourth of a teaspoon to a gallon of water. So it's great when plants are starting out, when they're fully developed, when they're producing fruits. So that's one of my secrets. And this strawberry patch, at, as a month, probably a month goes by, it'll fill in in six weeks, it'll be solid greenery. And it's really pretty, it's a great ground cover, but it's also a great ground cover that produces fruit. And it's honestly low maintenance. I only put bark down maybe once every two years or every three years. It, it really is a low maintenance. Berry patch, flower bed, ground cover, anyway. That's one of my secrets to my strawberry patch because everybody likes to come and eat them. So good luck.